Lab Guy here. I got a request from Jackababu Babu to re release the Carter Vision user manual video after having upscaled it and processed it to make it a little easier on the eyes. So, the following program is brought to you by me and is the best that my video editor will do. So, enjoy this classic once again. It's one of my earliest videos and here it is. Welcome to the wonders of Cartridge Television. This is your new Sears Cartridge Television Center, your own electronic miracle that turns your home into a personal television theater. With a world of programming at your fingertips, captured on videotape and packaged in convenient, easy-to-use cartridges awaiting your selection, you can view what you want when you want it. The selection of subject matter is as broad as your imagination. Entertainment and education, music, the arts, and sports. It runs the gamut of your interests. In addition to being a fine color television set, the Sears Cartridge Television Center will replay pre-recorded programs, videotape television programs of your choice, even when you're not at home, and provide the facility for home taping your own shows. It offers instant replay of your home taped scenes and recorded television programs, and the television camera can be used for home surveillance also. Initially, you have a magnificent 25-inch color television set. It operates normally for conventional reception, giving you a beautiful and reliable picture. On this side is a player recorder control panel, which is activated when this switch is moved to the tape-on position. To play a pre-recorded program, all you have to do is insert the cartridge in the player holder. It's as simple as putting a slice of bread in a toaster. You can't make a mistake because the cartridge is designed to go in the machine only in the correct way. Turn the control switch to play, and the program is automatically transferred to your television screen, replacing the program currently being televised. It takes approximately seven seconds for the cartridge to lock into the player mechanism. The picture and sound will start after a few seconds of lead-in footage. That's all there is to it. The thrill is gone. The thrill is The player automatically shuts off at the end of the tape, and the current television program will resume. If you want to stop the pre-recorded program, you can by pressing the stop button. To play it again, simply turn the control switch to rewind. You'll hear the whir of the rewinding tape and a click when it's fully rewound. Then turn the control switch to play. Each tape cartridge can be run and rerun at your convenience, mid-morning, midday, or midnight. There are three different classes of cartridges. The black cartridge identifies pre-recorded material which you can buy. These programs come in two sizes and lengths, small or short, up to 30 minutes of running time, and large or long, up to 114 minutes of running time, almost two hours. You can keep these on file to play whenever you wish. The red cartridge identifies feature programs which can only be rented. While they can be stopped and restarted at your convenience, they cannot be rewound. 
Note the scale, the minute meter on the front of the cartridge. It shows you how much of the program has been run and where it will resume after a stop in the showing. The red and white labeled cartridge contains blank magnetic videotape. Blank tape is for recording regular television programs or for recording whatever you shoot with the television camera at home. To tape any television program, place a cartridge of blank tape in the player holder, just as you would to play a pre-recorded program. Select the channel on which the program you want to record is appearing or will appear and tune the set to your satisfaction. Press the button marked record. Hold it down while you turn the control switch to play. The program is now being recorded just as you see it on your screen. Finally, the water gushed out at the bottom. The recording will stop automatically at the end of the tape, or you can stop the recording process at any time by pressing the stop button. Rewind the tape. Turn the control switch to play as you would to play any cartridge program. It's like packaging time. It's magic, all right. And there it is. This is instant replay. Finally, the water gushed out of the bottom. The timer controls behind this door allow for delayed recording. It will turn the recorder on any time up to eight hours after it is set. Suppose you're going out, but want to catch a program that comes on an hour from now. Turn the television set on and select the desired channel. Insert a fully rewound cartridge of blank tape, the one with the red and white striped label. Set the switch above the timer to auto position. And make sure the camera switch is off. Set the timer to one. The dial is measured in 15 minute segments. One hour after you press the record button and turn the control switch to play, the set will activate and recording begins. The entire system shuts off automatically at the end of the tape. In setting the timer, an allowance of about five minutes for set warm-up and activation is recommended. Later, when you want to see this program, take the switch off auto and rewind the tape. Thirty minutes of tape will take less than two minutes to rewind. Turn the control switch to play, and the program will be played back. It can be kept on file to be played back whenever and as often as you desire, or the cartridge can be used for recording again. These two additional controls, the lock and the hold, allow you to make adjustments which will assure you the best possible tape reproductions available. Adjusting the lock control will eliminate the problems of tearing, poor color quality, etc. If this occurs on your set, turn the lock control slightly and wait a few seconds to see if this is enough correction. If not, turn a fraction more and wait again. If the picture worsens, turn in the opposite direction, making only slight corrections and wait to see the response. Use of the hold control is rarely necessary. It allows you to adjust for variations which may occur in the tape. Your printed owner's manual gives you a detailed description on how and when to use it. Another feature is fast forward which allows you to get to any advanced spot in the program rapidly. To activate it, press the fast forward button while turning the control to rewind.
If you have purchased the optional television camera and microphone, here is how to make your own video tapes. The jacks for connecting camera and microphone to the set are clearly marked. The hookup is made easily. The camera has two light settings, one for indoor and one for outdoor use. It's very lightweight, weighing about two and a half pounds, and can be carried easily in one hand by its convenient pistol grip handle. The microphone can be held in the other hand, given to your subjects to hold, hung up, or set down. To activate the camera for live television in the home, simply move the camera switch on the control panel from off to monitor. Now you will see on your television screen what the camera sees. The focus knob is easy to operate. You can determine the focus by looking through the camera or by checking it on the television screen. To record on videotape, insert a cartridge of blank tape into the holder. Slide the camera switch from monitor to record. Then put the recording mechanism into operation by pressing the record button while turning the control switch to play. Place the microphone where you wish. Now you're recording picture and out. Whether it's special occasion or moments from everyday life which you want to capture and preserve, it's this simple. You can see the action through the camera and on the screen. I guess y'all got the microphone turned off. When you're finished shooting the scene, you can view what you recorded. Turn the recording off by pressing the stop button. Rewind the tape. Change the camera switch from record to off. Put it in play. Now you're ready to see what you've taped with the camera. There you are. Instant replay. We don't play it. There. You want to capture and preserve. It's this simple. It. You can see it's the action magic. through the camera. You can see it as often as you like. Just rewind it. and play it whenever you wish. Let me point out to you that this is a cartridge of blank tape, the one with the red and white striped label for your recording purposes. It now has the recorded scene on it. If you were to record again with this cartridge, it would erase that scene and replace it with the new scene you shoot. To preserve any tape you have recorded and guard against the possibility of accidentally erasing it, Hold the cartridge so the minute meter is facing up. And the tab is facing down. Insert a thin bladed knife in under the plastic tab and twist to bend the tab which will break and fall to the floor. Having done this, the picture is preserved and no future recordings can be made with this cartridge. Note that this has been done to the cartridges of pre-recorded programs so you will not accidentally erase them. In being your own television producer in the home, remember that the tape runs continuously, recording whatever the camera sees as long as you leave it on. Consequently, you should plan what you're going to shoot so you can record it in a continuous sequence. Remember, you will get a better, more interesting picture if you keep the camera steady. Use a tripod if possible. If you choose to move the camera, do it slowly so the action can be followed without confusion. Avoid shooting directly into the sunlight. If you stop and start the videotape during recording, snow or noise will appear on the tape between the scenes. This will last for several seconds, but don't be alarmed. This is a normal part of videotape recording. The opportunities for home videotaping are almost limitless. You can cover the visits of friends and relatives, build a family album on television videotapes, or watch your children grow. 
you can make a record of some events, such as an anniversary party. And perhaps that man of the house can get a few pointers on how to improve his golf swing. And you always have the great advantage of instant replay. The Sick Cartridge Television Center is truly a home studio for the recording and viewing of an endless variety of entertainment. It offers everything from do-it-yourself productions to million-dollar epics available on videotape, the miracle of modern electronics. Consider what you now have as an owner of a Sears Cartridge Television Center. You have a visual library with sound. You have a classroom for instruction at all levels. You have a magic carpet with which to see the world and its people. The Sears Cartridge Television Center is your home theater where the entire family can enjoy a feature movie together without interruption. You set the time of showing. You can stop and restart it. Take time out for a popcorn intermission, if you wish. This is your window to the world, your communications headquarters. It's your classroom of instruction and education. It's your magic carpet to lands all over the world. It's a storehouse of art and music. It's your private television studio for capturing your own family's current events on tape for instant replay and future reruns. Magic? Indeed. Congratulations. The world is yours with Sears Cartridge Television Center. And with Sears, you get a lot more than meets the eye. Well, I hope this uh, reprocessed version of the video was uh, satisfying enough for the critical viewers. Uh, understand that the source material of this program was originally 16 millimeter film, transferred probably to three quarter inch video, or maybe IVC one inch if they were really lucky. I, I suspect IVC because some of the people at Cartrovision were XIVC types, and uh, and then was recorded onto a Cartrovision cassette, which laid around for 30 years, and then was transferred to consumer mini mini DV in the uh, late 90s, early 2000s, and then uh, transferred. To YouTube back when YouTube did some serious processing to the uploaded videos. So this uh, version today was processed through Corel Video Studio with the uh, processor turned on to automatically uh, uh, correct color and uh, this did bring up the black levels compared to the old video it, it looks a lot better and what you see is what you get that is the program material you saw today. So I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, feel free to leave us a thumbs up for the attempt. Uh, if you're not a, uh, a member, uh, consider subscribing to Video Lab Guy channel. And until next time, Lab Guy out. <laughs>